He said, I'm going to run in the house and make the missus a pot of, pot of coffee. I'm going to grab a cup of joe myself. And then me and you, we're going to head out to Scottsdale, Old Town, and go check out some condos. So let's go. It's time to make the coffee. So I thought this would be a great place to start our journey here in Old Town. It's right along the waterfront area. Isn't it a gorgeous morning? Look at that fabulous Arizona sky behind us. This waterfront Old Town area, it's just one big happy area. It's hard to tell where one starts and the other one stops. So off my shoulder behind me is Scottsdale Waterfront Towers. Those are the creme de la creme of high rise living here in Scottsdale. These are beautiful units. These units, a lot of them even have an adjacent servant's quarter that you can purchase if you've got a chef or if you've got a housekeeper or even a butler, that's the place to live. So one of the big advantages of living down here on the Scottsdale waterfront is all the walkability of everything. There are all kinds of shops, restaurants, things to do. You can jump on the canal, go for a run, you can take your bike for a ride. This is just fantastic living. And if you do get a condo in Old Town Scottsdale, unless you're going to work, you don't really need a car. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the shopping, really great. You can walk right down the street there. There's Nordstrom's over there. There's Olive and Ivy restaurant, tons of boutique shops. Scottsdale Waterfront has got to be on the top of your list if you're looking for a luxury condo in Scottsdale Old Town. All right, enough about Scottsdale Waterfront. Let's go see the next one. Welcome to Optima Camel View Towers. This is a spectacular community. It's a little over 700 units. They are uber contemporary and the architect who is actually out of, out of Chicago did a great job of designing these units to where the balconies have all these plants growing off the balconies. It's really a pretty place to live. It has its own restaurant, has a concierge, has a workout facility, beautiful pools. <clears throat> I said pools as in multiple. This is a top choice for people who just wanna be right in the thick of things, right in the middle of the hustle and bustle. It also, Optima is LEED certified, meaning it is super energy efficient. Living here isn't gonna cost you a lot of money with the utility company, but it is an upper end community. That being said, you can still buy a unit in here in the 400s and you can absolutely spend upwards of a million dollars on one of the penthouses. Seems to be the sweet spot in here is right around five to seven hundred thousand dollars for a lot of the units. They either have a balcony or a patio and it's just a fantastic community to live in. So behind me there is the restaurant area where all those orange cushions are and I'm just gonna pan around so you can get an idea of the beauty of this complex over here at Optima Camel View. It's really a pretty place. All right, all done here. Let's go see the next one. Okay, so if Optima wasn't contemporary enough for you, we've always got Safari. This is an awesome community. It's right on the canal. So let's jump on the canal right now and see what it looks like from the back. Okay, so right now we're at the back of the Safari and you can see it borders the canal here. It's really a pretty morning. So this is Another great choice if you're looking for a contemporary residence in Old Town Scottsdale. These Scottsdale condos are really hip. They've got a great vibe. Lots of glass, lots of steel, lots of masonry. Super well-built community and very private underground parking and close to everything. All right, so that's enough of the safari. Let's go see the next one. Hey, I'm standing out in this vacant lot here in the Old Town Scottsdale area which there aren't very many of those, I guarantee you. But from this vantage point, you can see a lot. So I'm just gonna show you directly behind me in the far distance is Optima Towers. Now I'm gonna swing over to the north a little bit and behind me now are the Safari condos. And then I'm gonna turn back in the other direction and you can see the tower in the distance, that's waterfront towers. And then 
over here across the street, we've got Scottsdale Fashion Square. <clears throat> and then of course, directly behind me is the canal, which kind of brings all of this together. So, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a vantage point of how close these communities are to one another here in Old Town Scottsdale. Okay, so this one behind me now is called Envy, and it has about 100 units in it. You can get in there on the average around $600,000, another great choice. All right, right now I'm standing in front of Royal Gardens here in Scottsdale. It's a mid-century modern built right in the early 60s, and it is a spectacular little community. It's one street in, one street out, and one of the things that everybody loves about this community are all the trees, all the foliage, the landscaping is just beautiful, and the arch architecture inside, really, really nice. One of the features of this community is the pool area. Let's go down and check it out. See, I told you the pool area is fabulous. Look at that canopy. Isn't that gorgeous? This, they just don't build stuff like that anymore. And that is why a lot of people prefer this little community. And when stuff comes up for sale, it generally goes quick. So if you're into this, let me know. Comment below and I'll make sure to keep you in the know when something comes on the market. Okay, I've talked about this one before, but it's so good, it's such a good deal. I just gotta bring it up again. It's Tres Olivos, directly across the street from Sage. And you know, you can buy a two bedroom condo in here in Old Town Scottsdale in the mid twos. Yeah, that's right. There was one that sold last week. It was on the market for 225. There's another one on the market right now at 255. So Tres Olivos, if you're looking for something inexpensive and being able to live right here in Old Town Scottsdale, this is a great option. Now, let's go across the street. I'm going to swing around and we're going to take a look at Sage. Now, Sage is a place where I've sold a condo to one of my clients. They are a second homeowner, so they wanted something really secure that they could lock and leave really easy. It's nice traditional building, underground parking, and it backs right up to the canal. So let's go right down that sidewalk straight ahead and go check out the canal. So I don't know if you can see that right now. There's some little duckies and their mommy swimming down the canal right now, right behind Sage Condominiums. So that's one of the nice things about living at Sage. You've got this beautiful canal where you can exercise, bike, walk, get to uh, all the restaurants and everything. Absolutely within a very short walk. Sage Condominiums has got to be an option for you. If you're looking for something in the fives or sixes, something super secure, something in the Old Town Scottsdale area, these Scottsdale condos are an awesome choice. Okay, so now we're in front of Valley Ho. A lot of people know that this is an awesome hotel. Lots of party life going on here at this place on weekends and in the evenings. But what a lot of people don't realize is that you could actually buy a unit in here. Now, you can make it a part of the rental pool or not, which can offset the cost of living here. Many of these units start around $700,000 and work their way on up. If you're interested in Valley Ho, you would love living in this place, especially if you like to party. So you can probably tell off in the distance there, some of the units have poolside balconies. So all those balconies look out to the pool area. They're preferred units, they're priced a little bit higher, but well worth it. I mean, if you're gonna be here and you're gonna have a unit in the Valley Ho, might as well be poolside, right? So if the idea of the Scottsdale Valley Ho is just a little too fast paced for you, we've got the mark. It's a traditional condominium complex built by Toll Brothers. And it is, again, right in the middle of everything. And it's a spectacular lock and leave community. If you're looking for something that is a little bit more traditional, that looks a whole lot like an upscale hotel, the Mark has got to be a great option for you. I don't know if you've seen those little scooters that you can ride, but these are the latest and greatest. They're more like a bicycle. I think a little safer for the local drinker. So if you're out and about having a good time at the bars, this might be a better idea, you know, sitting down and driving a little bicycle thing that has a small motor on it. Might be a better idea than riding a scooter. I gotta try one of these things. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna jump on one real soon. Guess what I'm gonna do? Yeah, you guessed it. I'm gonna go ride on one of those 
over to our final community, the Americana. So I've never done this before. I wish I had a GoPro at this moment, I don't. So the footage might be a little bit shaky, but let's jump on board and go take a look. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay guys, now we're at the Americana. <clears throat> this is uh, obviously a converted hotel and you can buy one of these in the low twos and you're right in the middle of Scottsdale. You can jump on one of those little scooters, one of those wheels things or one of the birds and get to everything in Old Town Scottsdale. So the uh, Americana, it was a hotel built in the 1950s and it feels that way and there are a ton of these kind of places around here. If I turn around, you're gonna see a number of these kind of communities around here. This just happens to be my favorite one. Really a cool option for you, especially if you're looking for something inexpensive, little place that you can just jump in and out of really quickly and enjoy Old Town Scottsdale. And if you'd like to take a look at the condominiums in Scottsdale, just leave a comment below or better yet, just send me a text message or pick up the phone and call me. If you can't do that, send a man on a horse send smoke signals, do something, just get in touch with us and we'll be happy to show you anything you wanna see in the Scottsdale Old Town area, anywhere else in Scottsdale, anywhere in greater Phoenix metropolitan. There are 30 cities here. There's gotta be something for you. But today's tour was of Old Town Scottsdale condos. I hope you got something out of it. And if you've got a community that you'd like me to make a video of, let me know which one of that is in the, in the, in the comment area below and I'll do it. Until then, see you later.